She might be stuck in traffic. Are you kidding? She's got a phone. She could call, at least. Show some consideration for someone other than herself for once. She might not be able to make it, Joseph. I bet she's already got this preconceived notion of what my film's going to be like. It's, it's like a lose-lose situation for me. I don't know what my parents were thinking. I should have been an only child. Save all that heartache and despair when she dressed me up as a, a lady in front of the family and friends. And you know, back then, I didn't act much differently than the actors I work with now. The same crying fits and overdramatic lapses of despair. Yeah, it's his latest. Actually, I'm just on my way there now. I probably want to understand half of it anyway, so... She wasn't concerned enough to be at the premiere of her own brother's film. Yeah, my own sister. That says a lot, doesn't it? Well, you know... Doesn't it? Look, she was busy, Joseph. She says that, but I don't believe that for a second, though. And now, here we are, in the cinema, paying to see my own film because of my sister's overt lack of the correct priorities. Well, why don't you consider having a detente between you both? A detente? You need me to explain what a detente is? No, I know what a detente is. I just never thought of it in that way, that's all. Well, what have you got to lose, Joseph? Well, nothing. But is it really that simple? It's as easy or as hard as you make it, essentially. You're right. Why should I let her crush me so easily all the time? I just shouldn't care for it. Just leave it, and that way I can be happy. Finally happy enough not to care what my sister thinks of my films. Like drawing a line in the sand. Yeah, there really isn't any other way to put it, is there? So yeah, the line has now been drawn. Good. How have you been, Joseph? Keeping well? Well enough. I see you made it in one piece. Reasonably so, yeah. The traffic in the city is horrible, so I'm just glad I made it here. Well, well I'm just glad you could be here. Yeah, I'm happy to be here. Shall we uh, take our seats? Yeah. yeah. Okay, Joseph? I'm really happy you worked out all of your insecurities with your sister. Yeah? Maybe you can have a healthy relationship with one another now. Look, what I meant to say was you handled it with a lot of dignity. I'm proud of you. Are you happy, Emma? Yeah, of course I'm happy. It all worked out for you. You know, ever since you've been going out, you've had this weird complex with your sister. It did start to worry me a tiny bit. You've got some nerve to tell me that everything's okay. Were you not there? She loved it. She fucking loved it. That wasn't supposed to happen. She should have hated it. She should have been cynical and detached. What are you talking about? You were happy to ignore her criticisms. <laughs> You've got some nerve to tell me you're happy about ruining my mind. Very interesting, don't you think? Very interesting that you'd be so hurtful to my feelings. You persuaded me to... Joseph! To brush his Joseph! Joseph!
keep having this nightmare of losing the time to do something. I don't know what the task is, but I'm, I know other people are relying on me to do it. But I can't, and, it feel, and time feels like an emotion resting heavy on my heart, making it ache. And then everything disappears, leaving only memory and a regret. It makes me wake up in these horrible sweats. I'm actually drenched in sweat, like I have a fever or something. And now life makes me anxious. People laughing and smiling makes me anxious. That isn't right. I'm just missing everything. I'm missing their sadness and anger for the most part. And there are like these layers that overlap in all this existence and I don't mean anything at all. Isn't everything pain? Isn't that life? I'm made to believe that I'm happy or that we should all be happy but what if we aren't? Do we all just have to give in to all these lies just to have this happiness?